Hey, yeah. Um, so one of the things that we kind of take for granted on a lot of modern cars is uh, features like you know multiple speed wipers and reversing lights and things like that. Um, but it's uh, yeah, it's hard to imagine that stuff like that was actually optional when when these vans were around. Um, reversing lights and things were often uh, accessories uh, that you you paid extra for. Um, they were they were kind of seen as as luxuries because these were very much um, these were very much kind of practical, um, no nonsense vehicles at the time when they were around. Uh, but one thing I've really wanted to to fit to this van for a while is is a reversing light, um, and all the all the connections and everything are are, are there for it um, already. Uh, I just needed to get a, a kit to to put it in. Um, and it's a good, it's a great safety feature to have, especially at night, you know, you're reversing into a dark space. There may not be any street lighting uh, or, of course, modern traffic as well. People just expect you to have reversing lights and, you know, they might start beeping at you when you're uh, backing into a space. Um, so, yeah, with that said, um, I got a reversing light kit here the other day um, and it consists of a few things. Um, we've got the, the little switch here, uh, which we are going to fit to the gearbox. Uh, there's already a little uh, receptacle for it on the gearbox and that uh, gets pressed in when you select reverse. Um, there's a little inline fuse holder because we need to take some power for this. So we're going to take that from the positive side of the coil and that's that's key on power. So when you turn the key, uh, the, the switch is live. Um, and then the power goes to, we're going to wire that up to one side of the switch from the coil um, and put the, the fuse the fuse in the middle uh, for safety. Um, and then we're going to connect the other side to these uh, these two light fittings down here, the two, uh, two reversing lights. Um, so then theoretically when we select reverse these two lights, uh, they, should, uh, they should come on. Um, so yeah, there's a few things we have to do first. We have to get under the van. Um, screw this in and then do a little bit of modification to this to to get it to sit in line between the between the wires so we'll just uh, we'll get cracking with that now i'm just taking off the uh the blanking plug here for the reversing light from the gearbox um you have to be pretty careful with these because they can these hexagonal um plugs can kind of they can round out inside uh, they can get damaged, so you have to be very, very uh, gentle with them when you're, when you're, especially when you're breaking the torque on them. So um, it, it helps if you have a kind of a long Allen key like this, um, or a, a ratchet spanner. Although that can be difficult to to get in here with the um, with the clutch cable in the way. I installed a grounding strap on the gearbox some time ago, um, in, in preparation for this. You also need to put a grounding strap onto your gearbox as well if you're going to install a reversing light. Um, otherwise, it won't work. Um, and you can also see we got the we've threaded the wires through here already, so they're all ready to be uh, connected up. Um, there's a little hole on the other side of the van there near the uh, near the starter motor. Uh, with a grommet in it that you can you can route the wires through. Um, it's not exactly you know factory spec job, but like it'll do. Yeah, just gonna nip this up. Doesn't need to be too tight. Like just uh, just enough to seal the the oil into the gearbox. All right, so I'm just. Pulling a bit of the insulation off the wire here to uh, so we can attach a little spade connector onto the end. These are not the best wire strippers in the world. I think you need to buy some new ones. Um, but anyway, they'll do for now. All right, Ooh, a bit of a Horlix of that wire in there. Okay, now I'll just get one of these and pop them onto the end. Uh, the, uh, the blue wire 
our closers. Okay, that's the two of them on then. Um, I think we'll just move back out to the engine bay now. All right, so this is where the wires are coming into the engine bay. There's a little grommet there and there's a hole and we've that they come out the back at the at just above the starter motor. Um, so the first wire here uh, that's connected to the switch, that's going to the reversing light uh, itself. Um, and then the second wire here um, is going all the way across here to the coil and that's what provides the power. Now we're at the uh, rear light clusters here. This black wire here is going to the um, it's going to the switch on the gearbox. It's wired into a double connector here. This other black wire is leading to the light on the other side so that runs all the way across. When we select reverse power comes onto this light and then also goes to the other one over there. So yeah, that's really what all, all we've done there. We're going to put a little inline fuse in here and then connect it up to uh, the positive terminal here on the coil to get power when the when the key is on. Now, um, we're, we have to link uh, these two together, uh, so we're going to solder them together. Um, I've already twisted uh, the wires around each other um, and always remember to, put, uh, remember to put the heat shrink tape on first, uh, so we've got that on standby here. Um, and the reason I have these crocodile clips here as well is just it, it helps to kind of hold the piece when you're soldering it um, and also they act as kind of like a heat sink as well so it stops the heat from traveling up all the way up the wire from the soldering iron um, yeah so we're going to get the uh, soldering iron here now and um, it's been heating up um, and we've got our uh, got our you know, bits and pieces here our solder wire um, Unwind some of it. And you always have to tin the end of your iron before you use it. A bit of tin on the end there. So what I'm going to do now is just heat up the uh, heat up the wire, and then we'll drip some solder into it. And it's heated up. So we've got some nice solder flowing in here. Uh, the trick with this is like to make sure that the the solder flows all the way in into the joints between the wire, um, or all you know all the braiding, and um, that's like the best kind of connection. Right, we're just going to slip the heat shrink tape over here now. Um, Get it all the way over the wires, both wires. Some decent coverage. Get the old uh, hair dryer on steroids here and heat it up. We've got a piggyback connector here, um, so we can use uh, two things off this uh, coil power post. Um, just connect it up here. Right, so that's on now. Um, we have our fuse and we have our power from our coil and everything. Um, so yeah, all that remains is just to test it out. That's interesting. Don't seem to be able to select reverse anymore. Um, is that something to do with the switch that we put in? Yeah. We're going to have to do a bit of further investigation here. Now I've taken the switch out of the van and I think I've figured out what might be going on um, and I also might have a possible solution as well. Um, I can see that the button here on the switch is like fouling the reverse gear somehow. There's like a small indentation there uh, where it's getting caught. Um, so what I might try doing is put uh, an extra washer over this. Um, and maybe that'll like kind of pull it further away or out of the out of the gearbox a bit, so the reverse gear can kind of slip over the top of the button and uh, engage the switch properly. Um, so yeah, I'll just put another washer on and we'll refit it, and then we'll see if that makes any difference. Now I've uh, put the second washer on the switch and refitted it to the gearbox. So I'm just going to get in and uh, test if we can go into reverse now.
Okay, it's going into reverse. Uh, so let's check if the lights are working. All right, they're working. Uh, so yeah, that was a nice little upgrade to do to the van. Um, you know, it's a bit of extra safety um, at night when you're reversing and uh, so that other people behind you can see that you're, uh, that you're reversing. So it's good. Yeah, it's a great thing to have. Um, really, really happy with uh, getting that working. So uh, yeah, thanks, uh, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in another video. Mm-hmm. <laughs>